Hey guys, so it's your damn bring guys a brand new sports cards video in today's video I will be showing you guys how I am making thousands of dollars a week quick flipping sports cards right now um, Every week I've been making you know around a 50 to 60 percent profit margin using one specific method Which is actually very simple and I thought I wanted to share it with you guys for this video uh, But before we get into that I do want to say as you guys know I have my sports card investment membership program where I basically Every single week, write up a report of 10 sports cards I believe will go up. Some sports cards I believe should be sold at the moment, so will go down. And then three long-term underground investments. Um, so obviously, you know, we've been killing it lately. Even though the market has not been quite as hot, um, we've been making more money than ever. Um, recently, you know, we are buying Devontae Adams Tops Chromes for just th under $3 a piece. Um, and right now, they're selling on Starstock. For around $40 um, and a lot of other picks that have made us huge money um, so if you guys would like to join in and make some money with our group um, go ahead click the link down below to sportscardsinvest.com um, and go ahead use code YouTube to get you 10% off but yeah just so much money to be made in this market we've also been very good at spotting um, some PSA 9's that are very undervalued so obviously as you guys know a PSA 9 should go for around one, you know, one third to one fourth the price of a PSA 10. That's the standard. Um, and oftentimes, when a PSA 10 goes up a lot, um, the PSA 9 lags behind. So we've been able to find some PSA 9s um, that are like one tenth the price of a PSA 10. And then obviously the PSA 9s take a little bit to catch up, and then they go back up to one third. So we've been able to make a killing off that as well um so just spotting those cards you know we could definitely help with that our group has been very you know my team and i have been pretty good at doing research with that um but yeah without further ado we're gonna hop right into this video um so for football recently we've been absolutely making a killing and um so one thing i've really been you know capitalizing on is you know the week by week schedules so I've been using star stock um, which basically you don't have to ship the cards home so it's easier for me to do quick flips um, and what I'm basically doing is I'm going ahead looking at you know who's what I guess are like the most hyped up matchups of every single week so for example last week the Buccaneers Saints game um, you know that was quite hyped up so I went ahead and bought a lot of Buccaneers rookie cards and a lot of Saints rookie cards of you know the obviously most you know well known Alvin Kamara I bought some of these um, and then a lot of other players and all I was doing was selling right before the game started and I was making a good 30 to 40 percent you know profit margin there it's quite simple honestly um, so basically you know looking at I guess like the most hyped up matchups um, you know Aaron Jones was quite hyped up last week with the Packers the Packers played very well and you know Aaron Jones cards went up a lot um, so you know there's definitely just a lot of money to be made with football week uh, you know every single week um, and I suggest looking for you know more so of them I guess more of you know the I guess players that will have good games you know more of the hyped up players more of you know guys like Saquon I've been buying a lot of I know he didn't have the best game um, but you know definitely just so many players that are out there that you know could have a very good game on any given day honestly um, so definitely you know some guys I'm looking at right now um, I definitely think, you know, receivers and running backs is where you should spend majority of your money um, just because quarterbacks are a bit, you know, they're already kind of inflated. Um, they've gone up quite a lot, but, you know, Chris Godwin was had an injury last week. I think if he bounces back and has a good game, you know, this star stock A for just 12 bucks could be a very good deal. Um, obviously, with the Buccaneers, they are very hyped up. Um, so just looking at stuff like that, and it's really hard to lose in the football market right now. It's very volatile. Um, stuff going up and down day by day based on players' games. Um, and in a volatile market, it's quite easy to make good money. And looking at guys like Odell Beckham, right? So if we look at... You know, a Topps Chrome to a Panini Prism. Um, so a Prism should usually be around double the price of a Topps Chrome. Um, that's usually like the ratio of where it is. So as we can see, Odell's Topps Chrome is $13. Now, if we go ahead and look at his Prism, they recently skyrocketed. They're around 43 bucks. So I'm expecting his Topps Chrome to catch up. If not, you know, obviously 
You know, his tops is already sort of catching up. So I think his tops chrome is very undervalued right now. Um, just really looking at trends like that. Um, there's no way, reason why his prism should be, you know, four to five times his tops chrome rookie card. Um, so just looking at stuff like that. I definitely think, you know, obviously Thursday night games and Monday night games are a very good way to make money because, you know, when there's only one game going on in a day, people are more likely to focus on it. Um, so, you know, obviously the game coming up, the Browns game, I think there's some money to be made with Odell Beckham. Um, and that's probably, you know, where I'm spending a lot of focus as well. I think obviously looking at, you know, top or fantasy top receivers fantasy top running backs looking at price trends um within players i think you know for example julio jones is quite undervalued compared to other you know top running backs and receivers um and then just for quarterbacks you can also look at guys like Derek carr um i think he has an opportunity to have a good season in las vegas um, Alvin Kamara is bound to have a good season right now. Um, he's quite hyped up. I think he's a good buy for the Saints. The Saints, you know, have a chance to go deep in the playoffs. Um, another guy's Russell Wilson. I think he's going to have a very good season. Um, just because, you know, Russell Wilson's obviously known to be one of the best quarterbacks. And this season, he's in for a good one. And Aaron Rodgers as well. Um, I just, those are kind of like my two... I guess, best, best quarterback investments, in my opinion, just because they've already proven a lot. You know, Drew Brees, I guess, Russell Wilson, and Aaron Rodgers are probably my three top, um, just because there's not as much to lose um, compared to guys like Patrick Mahomes and Lamar Jackson, who are red hot, but, you know, in terms of their whole career, have not done as much as Brees, Rodgers, and and Russell Wilson, um, but I think there's so much money to be made. There's a lot of slept on receivers and running backs. Brandon Cooks, um, I think he has a chance. There's so many guys who just have, you know, kind of pop off seasons, and it's honestly kind of hard to tell who exactly is going to have that big season, who's going to have that big, like, DeAndre Hopkins jump, who's going to have that big kind of jump like that, like Odell had that year. He had the catch in 2016, um, but, you know, obviously... There is just so much opportunity, and I think now is probably the best time to be focusing in on football. Um, I know basketball is down quite a lot, but I'm not sure if it's going to come back in the near future. Um, so for now, I'm mainly focused on football. Um, I think Marquise Brown is another you know, great pickup. The Ravens are going deep into the playoffs. Um, Lamar's prices are going crazy. Marquise Brown is arguably their best receiver. So I think there's a lot of money to be made in Marquise Brown if the Ravens go to the Super Bowl, possibly. Um, but, you know, obviously, you guys do your own research in that sense. But I'm just, you know, obviously making a lot of money with doing this. And especially, you don't even have to, you know, hope the guy's a good game. What you can just do is buy up a card like Amari Cooper and right before the game, um, you know, just selling it because the prices continue to rise on guys like this. Um, and as games kind of, you know, as a Thursday night game, you know, I guess, you know, say it's Sunday after all the games and then everyone's getting hyped up for a Monday night big matchup. Um, you know, just buying and holding on and selling right before the game, you can make a steady 30 to 40 percent profit margin just from the hype leading up to the game, which I think is probably the easiest money you can get in the sports card market right now. So I definitely suggest going ahead, hopping on Starstock, eBay, whatever it is. Um, eBay is a little bit tough because you have to deal with shipping and make sure it's not international um, and it's going to come on time so you can flip it right away. Um, but, you know, this happens to be the simplest just because you don't have to pay shipping. Um, but, yeah, really hope you guys did enjoy this video. Once again, if you guys are interested in my Sports Card Invest membership program, go ahead, click the link down below to sportscardsinvest.com. Use code YouTube to get you 10% off. Other than that, I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'm out.